test case writing for the sign up page for a demo application as an example. Coming back to the sign up page, a demo application which I have created for an example to show you the fields and to create test scenarios and test cases to help you understand how to document and write these test cases step by step. As I have already explained how to write test cases for the first name, last name, email ID and mobile number fields of the demo application for the sign up page in my previous videos, I am now going to create the test cases for the password field. You may watch the previous videos that I have uploaded for a better understanding. Links are given below in the description. So as a tester, your role is to test the field by entering the valid and the invalid password both one by one into this field. So what could be the valid scenarios for this field? The valid scenario is entering a valid password. Once you enter the field with a valid password along with entering valid credentials into all other fields and then signing up, sign up should be successful and you must be redirected to the home page of the application. Let's say there are some criteria set for the password in order to sign up for the application. Like for example, if the password needs to be at least 7 characters, which means it should be a minimum of 7 characters, that means it should not be less than 7 characters, right? Also, it should be alphanumeric and must include any symbol or a sign as a special character. And also, it must start with a capital letter. So, let me show you how you will create your password within these boundaries and then create test cases for these. I am going to create one to show you as an example. So, my password is simi at the rate 2. This has in total of 7 characters in it, right? Also, it starts with a capital letter that is S and it has a number which means it is alpha numeric. Then it has a special character that is a symbol or a sign for example at the rate. You may use any other symbol or sign like an exclamation mark, underscore, the dollar sign, hashtag, etc. While I prepare the test cases, I will make sure to check the password field by entering invalid test credentials to confirm whether it is working as expected or not, whether it is according to the requirement or not. That means it must accept the password within the criteria set for the password field in order to test the sign up page. Now let me create the invalid test cases which means the negative test cases for example by entering too long and too short password in the password field. As you can see in the Google Sheet I have created the invalid test cases for these. Test case number 23 is to verify signing up using a short password. The first action is to enter the password field using a short password, for example, SIM, S-I-M. The expected result should be that the placeholder must be removed and you should be able to enter a short password with red lines. Next, enter all other fields with the valid credentials. The expected result should be that the placeholder must be removed and you should be able to enter valid credentials into all other fields. Next, click on the sign up button. The expected result should be that the sign up is not successful. It shows an error message which says enter a valid password or it will say Password should have at least 7 characters. Similarly, we will be creating the next test case that is number 24 to verify signing up using a long password. The first action is to enter the password field using a long password. For example, simi at the rate 23 abcd 
one, two, three, four, etc. The expected result would be that the placeholder should be removed. You must be able to enter a long password with red lines. The next action is to enter all other fields with the valid credentials. The expected result would be that the placeholder should be removed and you must be able to enter valid credentials into all other fields. And lastly, click on the sign up button. The expected result would be that sign up is not successful. It shows an error message which says enter a valid password or it will say the password is too long. Also, we can test by leaving the password field empty and we have already done that before as you see here in test case number 12, step 12.7 that is to verify leaving the password field empty. You may watch the videos for other test fields that I have explained earlier. Links are given below in the description. So we don't need to create another test for this and we may move on to the next test case that is test case number 25. Next is the test case number 25 that is to verify password without using any special characters for example like symbols or any signs. The first action is to enter password with no symbols and signs for example simi23 into the field. The expected result should be that the placeholder must be removed and you should be able to enter a password with no symbols or signs with red lines. Next, enter all other fields with valid credentials. The expected result would be that the placeholder should be removed and you must be able to enter valid credentials into all other fields. And lastly, click on the sign up button. The expected result would be that the sign up is not successful it shows an error message which says password must include at least one special character the next test case is to verify the password which does not start with a capital letter the first action is to enter the field by using a password that does not start with a capital letter for example semi at the rate 2 the expected result would be that the placeholder should be removed and you must be able to enter a password that doesn't start with a capital letter with red lines next is to enter all other fields with valid credentials. The expected result should be that the placeholder must be removed and you should be able to enter valid credentials into all other fields. Lastly, click on sign up button. The expected result would be that the sign up is not successful. It shows an error message which says password must start with a capital letter. Now let's test the field by entering only numbers. It should not accept. And this is what is expected, right? The password must contain characters like letters, numbers and special characters like symbols and signs. So only number passwords should not be accepted. You may create many more test cases like this just for the password field itself. There are no limits for testing, but you must not miss something that has more importance for the application. So make sure to create the test cases by analyzing and prioritizing things that are more important and must be tested accordingly. So just like other test cases, this test case is also an invalid test case and once you try entering numbers only into the password field and then sign up, it will show an error that tells the user to enter a valid password or it will say only number password is not accepted. This is all about the password field. I am done creating test cases for all the fields for the sign up page for the demo application that I have created as an example to show you the fields and to create test scenarios and test cases. You may watch other videos. The link is in the description below. As I said, there are no limits for testing. You may create more and more test cases like this until you are satisfied with testing the application which fulfills the requirements. I will continue with other topics of testing in my next video. Until then, keep watching and please share your thoughts and ask any questions related to the software testing field. I would love to get back to you as soon as possible.
like share and subscribe press the bell icon to get notified of my new uploads thank you for watching